But when we're learning to track and send and receive a ball, the simplest place to start is on the floor before you let the ball get in the air. So we're going to start with a little floor rally. We're going to start, as always, with the simplest thing, and we're going to start with our hands. We've put down marker cones. We've put down two uh, pink lines as our kind of target for the ball to go through. I'm a big believer in having targets that are close to where you send it from uh, to help you to become more accurate. So I'm turning my hand out. I'm kneeling, I'm keeping both of my feet on the floor so that I can send it out the palm of my hand and my hand is going straight to my partner. She stops the ball by splatting it on the top and she sends it back. We're gonna add the second ball. So now we have to cooperate with each other. So we say, one, two, three, go. Splat, one, two, three, go. Yes! Ready? One, two, three, go. Splat. Then we could move it on where we throw with one hand, we splat with the other hand. And then we throw with the other hand and splat with our favorite hand again. So we're bringing in the right and left sides. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. We can increase the distance and we can stand up. So now we're starting to move to and from the ball. And we'll use the marker lines to throw over, just to give us a, a, a target. So I'm going over this line, partner's going over that line, I move a step to the side, I stop it, I send with my left hand, because this is what tennis will ask you to do, move to and from a moving ball. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. We're gonna bring the target lines together again, and we're going to add the racket. So both players could have a racket, or if you don't have enough rackets, one has the racket, one can use the hand. So I'm gonna put the ball on the ground. I'm gonna to stand to the side because it's easier for me to make the ball go straight if I stand to the side. And I'm gonna pass it through the target lines to my partner. She's going to splat it to stop it because she can control it better if it's stopped. We can send with forehand. We could turn to the other side and send with backhand, or we could send with tweener. Backhand. We could add the second ball. So we say one, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. Backhands. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. Tweener. One, two, three, go. Hey! <laughs> and then we could build it up into a floor rally because now we have good control of the racket head, which means that we have good control of the ball. So we go back to one ball. I send to my partner, she splats it as a rally of one. Now we're going for a rally of two. One, two, splat. Now three, one, two, three, splat. Of course we could do it with the backhand. We could go rally of one. One, two. One, two, three, splat. We could do forehand then backhand because tennis always asks you to change from one side to the other because we never know where the ball's going. So if my first shot is a forehand, my second shot is a backhand. So I have to work out where I have to put myself to allow me to hit the shot that I am meant to hit. So I go forehand, backhand, forehand, backhand, forehand, backhand. We could try having a tweener rally for fun. Of course we could. Um, or we could turn it into a competition. And that's where we're going to bring our teachers in. And we're going to give them 30 seconds or so to practice. 
and then when the competition starts, we will see what is the longest rally that they can get through the channels. If the ball goes out of the channels, it's out, you start again, but you bank the score that you've got. So this is all about control and staying calm and working together. Now you've got three, so you're still at three. 